All right. So for our next question, the statement reads, according to P equal alpha E, the induced dipole moment of an atom is proportional to the external field. This is a, quote, rule of thumb, not a fundamental law, and it is easy to concoct exceptions in theory. Suppose, for example, the charge density of an electron cloud were proportional to the distance from the center, out to radius r. To what power of e would p be proportional in that case? Find the condition on rho such that p equal alpha e will hold in the weak field limit. Things to know for this problem, Gauss's law and the atomic polarizability. Similar to the last problem, we will use Gauss's law to find the external field. Note that again we have spherical symmetry, so Gauss's law produces e times 4 pi r squared, but that is again equal to an enclosed charge, which is a charge distribution rho. Algebraically, pushing the 4 pi r squared over to the right-hand side leaves us with an, an equation for E. Note that the charge distribution given to us was said to be proportional to the distance from the center. So another way to think about this is rho equals a r. Since we're integrating from 0 to r, we will just put a bar over it and integrate out. Note that the theta and phi integral again leave you at 2 pi and 2. A is just a constant, so you bring it outside the radial integral, and you're left with r cubed dr. You see that now we have a bunch of cancellations. 4 pi cancels in both numerator and denominator, and we're left with the results of the radial integration, which is r to the 4th over 4, evaluated from 0 to r. Simplifying this through leaves us with the electric field is equal to a times r squared over 4 epsilon naught. This internal field balances the external field E, when the nucleus is, quote, off-center, in amount d. So in the electric field, for r, we plug in d, which we see in the red, then algebraically solve this for d, and we see that d is a square root of the electric field. This is important to note because then the induced dipole moment is p equal e d, where e is the electron. Substituting in d leaves us with e times the square root of 4 epsilon naught e over a. Breaking up that radical leaves us with 2e times the square root of epsilon naught over a times the square root of e. That simply shows that p is now proportional to the square root of e, or e to the one half. Thus, for p equal alpha e to hold in the weak field limit, e must be proportional to r, not r squared, for small r which means that rho must go to a non-zero constant at the origin. Note that rho at zero cannot equal zero, otherwise it will blow up.